Are we filming? Yes, we are. So, uh, this is a 3CL slimline Farfax. It's, uh, it's luckily, luckily enough, it's got excellent flexibility because it's a very, very well used Farfax indeed that has appeared in several of my videos. You can see that it's really, really heavily worn, but it will still probably be around in a hundred years because it's made of solid pieces of leather. Uh, so it's going to have longevity. Um, these rings, I don't know who makes them, but they're very, very good quality. They seem to work very, very well. But the subject of my video is capacity. So there is a bit of a dilemma here, and it's to do with, to do with time. Now I could, I could use a hand punch to closely, to closely punch these pieces of paper with three millimeter rings. These are 5.5 because I've used a, a standard, a standard Repesco punch here. Um, but it, ideally, three millimetres would be better, or at least maybe four millimetres. So it's, um, it's, it has a slight problem in as much as if you look at this standard punch, you will see that the paper occupies slightly more than half the diameter, so that so the the radius of the rings is slightly less than the distance between the edge of the paper and the the point of the punch closest to the edge of the paper. So this is a, obviously a problem that many people have with these slimline rings. These are, I believe, they're they're imperial probably about 50 years old. They're 5 sixteenths. I always get these figures wrong, but they're roughly 11 millimetres in diameter. 5 sixteenths. I keep saying 7 sixteenths for some reason, but I believe it's 5 sixteenths. I need to properly measure it and get with the get the, get with the Imperial programme, given the fact I'm so into vintage Firefaxes. Um, but nevertheless, this is a problem, and I'll, I'll just do a demonstration here to show you what I mean. So in here, I have got 65, and I've counted them, <coughs> excuse me, 65 pages of print paper, 80 GSM paper, and it's about right in terms of the capacity, ideally, but it's not right if you're using a 5.5 millimeter punch certainly this particular repesco one uh, because of this radius problem and I'll, I'll i'll just demonstrate this because if i turn over the pages let's uh let's get a good amount so i'm turning over the pages and you can see there's a certain element of interference let's try it again now, here we go. So I'm trying to turn the pages, but they are snagging. They're snagging a little bit. And this is something that is not conducive to harmony when it comes to ring binders, is it? Let's show you that again. So I'm turning over the pages. Didn't do it that time. Let's try some more. Ah, there we go. So there's some snagging. Now, what can you do about this? There we go, snagging again. That didn't snag. That has snagged, so let's press it down. Now, this is not, this is not ideal, but uh, it's, it's frustrating because the capacity is perhaps 80 at a pinch using 80 GSM paper. I'm not sure what it is using proper Filofax paper, but certainly a lot of us use any old paper we can get hold of because the cost is a tiny, tiny fraction of using the the, uh, the standard Filofax paper. And that's why we do it, isn't it? Um, but 65 
pages so for 80 gsm paper doesn't really work when you have these here we go look it's just it's just not you've just got a jiggle here and it's 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 a little bit of overlap here so i have a solution this is what i am trying to do and i've folded over a page so we know where we are if i can find it i can't really find it now where on earth is it? Let's just do this and see if I can find it. There we go. Right, so let me take these out. And what I'm left with is 25 pages, which is, you know, a reasonable amount for a day's work. And uh, the reason why I'm experimenting with so many of these binders these slimline binders is because you can you can carry one or more uh, at ease or a lot more ease than you can with a standard personal size binder uh, with the larger 7 8 or 23 millimeter rings and okay so we have got we still got the overlap but there is enough there is enough play, there's enough wiggle room, as I call it, to make sure that these do not get trapped. These don't get trapped. So I'm, for, for at least a little while, I'm going to experiment with having just 25 sheets in here, uh, because uh, that's probably all I need for a day's work. And what am I going to do with the storage capacity I need for this many? Well, there's 40 here, isn't there? Um, if I get another one of these, and I'm using, I'm going to use this one because basically, if you look at the, the they're similar age, perhaps, but if you look at the flatability of this, well, the flatability isn't there, look at it. It's like a clamshell. Not as bad as some, but it's clearly not. Get down. Get down. Get down. I think the only way you can resolve this problem, and for me it is a problem, is to fold it back on itself and just... Which you can do with these vintage binders without any damage. And it will stay open. But then you use it and you close it. And then you've got to, when you open it again, you find you've got the same problem. Look, there we go. I've only got to close it and open it. And it's back to, you know, so it is a, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the death of me, isn't it? Trying to sort this thing out. Um, but if I use this to store some, maybe 40 pages, which will obviously go in very well because it can, at a push, fit uh, and accommodate another 40. So let's say 80 sheets of this 80 GSM paper. At least I've got a stash of paper. Now, is this system going to work where I have my Frankenfax and then I have a working Folifax for doodling and you know, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but this is so nice and tactile because it actually has that rare attribute, i.e. perfect flexibility. Um, I, uh, I really like this. I really like this. I'm probably going to start using this in earnest. I know I have a Frankenfax, which is my favourite working tool at the moment, but I've been using this as a, as a place for just doodling in this slightly oversized personal size which for me is 10 millimeters by 18 millimeters which absolutely perfectly replicates the size for my Frankenfax so it actually works very very well but um, I think what I'm going to do is going to stick to and limit myself to maybe a nominal 25 sheets in here uh, and then have this as a as a backup stash um, I think that will work well anyway um, thank you for watching 
Until my next video, goodbye.